Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my computer and having a quick little benchmark. So as you can see I've got a Palette GTX 960. This just misses out on the VR because minimum for VR is a GTX 970. This is a 960. 4GB card, it's very power efficient. Um, it only uses 6 pin um, power and lead so that's pretty nice. Palette is not really the well, it's not really a known graphics card, but to be honest, it, it's done me well, it's served well, it's a reference design, which means it blow air through the, um, out through the back of the card. Um, as you can see, I've got a CX750M, which stands for modular, which means it's literally everything's modular inside it, apart from the two power cables. Um, the motherboards is Maximus Hero 8, I believe. It's got room for an M.2 socket, which hopefully in the future, I do want to be upgrading. But for now, it's nothing to be worried about. Um, got Corsair DDR4, 16 gigs. That's two 8 gigs separate each. So that's pretty nice. It does run well in the computer. I quite enjoy it. Um, got an i7-6700K. And that's called by an Antec cooler, which is pretty nice. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the benchmarks. So as you just seen, we've pretty much got everything set on medium to high. Well, mainly medium, but it's pretty much medium to high. We're getting around 50 to 60 frames per second. So I'll just let this clip roll and I'll get back with you after. So we're getting around 50 to 60 frames per second, which is pretty decent in my opinion. Um, the reason why it's 1914 by 1050 is that's is because it is windowed. If it was full screen, it would say 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. But apart from that, everything runs pretty smoothly. So uh, I think we should jump onto the Time Spy Direct 12 now. So we got a score of 2,270. 